Melamine analysis is becoming a necessity in the food industry in order to verify the quantity and authenticity of protein. In September 2008, several Chinese companies were implicated in a scandal involving milk and infant formula which had been adulterated with melamine, leading to kidney stones and other renal failure, especially among young children. By September, nearly 53,000 people had become ill with more than 12,800 hospitalizations and four infant deaths. Officials estimate that 20 percent of the dairy companies tested in China sell products tainted with melamine. China has a wide range of export food products and the scandal affected countries on all continents. The World Health Organization suggests that melamine may have become part of the food chain in China for a long time as cyromazine, a melamine derivative, commonly used as pesticide in China. Cyromazine is absorbed into plants as melamine and may therefore be present in the food chain including poultry, eggs, fish, and dairy products. The concern for countries outside China comes from foreign dairy joint ventures where milk products are exported from China into various other countries. Investigation continues. VOA News reported on September 30, 2008 that cookies with melamine were found in the Netherlands. How much of this melamine has reached the American food supply? It is common practice that China has increased the protein content of wheat and rice by adding melamine. And this was reported by David Barboza, Alexi Barrio Nuevo. Feed sellers in China routinely use protein substitute. International Herald Tribune, April 29th. 2007. Um, today, as you all know, Secretary Levitt was at the White House along with Commissioner von Eschenbach, and he presented the Import Safety Food Action, uh, the Import Safety Action Plan, uh, which takes a risk-based approach to safety. It looks at the problem or the issue of uh, us having over two trillion dollars of imports that come into this country every year. Um, that number is expected to triple by 2015. And um, the plan has um, 50 recommendations in 14 areas, uh, ways to um, address the problem of safety in, in all of our imports. On September 29, 2008, Cadbury, a British confectionery group, which has three Beijing factories, withdrew all of its 11 chocolate products made in there on suspicion of contamination with melamine. The following day, September 30, 2008, Unilever started recalling its Lipton milk tea powder, which uses Chinese milk powder as its raw ingredient. After the company's internal checks found traces of melamine in the powder. That same day, Heinz discontinued the use of Chinese milk in making their products after recalling cases of baby cereal in Hong Kong after they discovered they contained melamine. On October 2nd, the Taiwan Health Minister announced that six types of milk powders produced in China by the Nestle Corporation contain traces of melamine. Nestle has announced that it will begin a recall of milk products in China. A popular and ubiquitous white rabbit creamy candy was blacklisted after tests by health authorities around the world identified it as being contaminated. In the United States of America, which was otherwise unaffected by the scares, the U.S. distributor of white rabbit candies recalled the product when samples found in Hartford, Connecticut showed traces of melamine. A popular sweet called White Rabbit, which is made from milk, has now been withdrawn from shops here. The maker suspects the sweets might be contaminated with melamine. And that worries anyone who imports food made in China. The European Commission uh, is assessing the potential risk uh, for human health. Uh, it is considering 
uh, regular testing of imported products, and since there is a special health risk for children, the European Commission is also considering a ban on products originating from China for infants and young children containing any percentage of milk. On October 7, 2008, David Bandersky reported that the press controls feed China's food problem. But China's milk disaster might have been averted, or fewer people affected, had Chinese political leaders permitted journalists to do their job. Separately, Kraft Foods, the maker of Oreo cookies, and Mars, the maker of M&M's and Snickers candy, said they believe Indonesian authorities were mistaken when they announced they had found melamine in samples of their products made in China. Mars, Nestle pull products in South Korea over milk scandal. October 6, 2008 Lawyers advising the families of children sickened in China's tainted milk scandal say they are facing growing official pressure to withdraw from the cases. China is reluctant to reveal tainted milk figures. Beijing, October 8, 2008 In addition to the melamine found in dairy products made in China, Chinese media now reports that the contamination has also been found in vegetables throughout the country. Recently, experts have investigated and confirmed that melamine has also been found in lettuce, watercress, tomatoes, mushrooms, potatoes, and other agricultural products. There are many foods that contain melamine. Pet food, animal and fish feed, wheat flour, other protein-based food commodities, catfish, trout, tilapia, salmon, Melamine was found in the tissues of those fish I just mentioned. Canada found it in some pretzels. This is being condoned, in my view, by the FDA, a faith-based dining administration. They have minimized the damage by saying they believe it will not be harmful, or words to that effect. We have farm-raised tilapia here that's being given feed that contains melamine and we are importing this tilapia from polluted pools and it has now been found that tilapia has very low levels of omega-3 fatty acids but worse very high levels of omega-6 fatty acids reported by Wake Forest University School of Medicine Tilapia, milkfish, sea perch, grouper, threadfin, hard clams, shrimp. All of these creatures were fed contaminated feed, but the company is telling us that there's no, res no residue of melamine. Melamine and cyanuric acid residues were identified in edible tissues of fish. MSNBC, May 2007 the Canadian meal was wheat gluten, a protein source imported from China. It contained melamine, and it was given to farm-raised fish. This is Canada. This is from the American Journal of Veterinary Research, September 2008. All animals fed the combination of melamine and cyanuric acid developed renal crystals similar to those detected in the cat. In Virginia they quarantined some chickens who had eaten this melamine corrupted feed but they went ahead and released those chickens later on. This was in 2007. The Food and Drug Administration said it would be okay to release those chickens melamine. To say this has not reached the United States of America is naive. Even with assurances by the Food and Drug Administration that our food supply is safe. I feel we should have a cocktail party for the FDA and the corporate moguls of these Chinese corporations and serve them imported Chinese fare. You think they'll eat it?